All right, let's go back to one of our top stories this morning. California's Senate seat is up for grabs this year. The top four candidates faced off against each other for the first debate as they look to the general elections in November. Yeah, they discussed everything from health care to housing to the Israel-Hamas war. And as of now, the latest Emerson College poll shows Democratic Representative Adam Schiff in the lead, followed by Republican Steve Garvey. So joining us right now to break it all down is San Francisco SF Chronicles senior political writer Joe Garofoli. Welcome, Joe. Good morning. Thank you for being here. So let's dive right in. Now that the candidates have wrapped up their first debate, what are some of your overall thoughts? It was not a good night for Steve Garvey. Uh, mm. He showed that uh, what he was, a retired baseball player who sort of rolled out of bed a couple months ago and decided he wanted to run for Senate. He came across as unprepared and he came across as having very few specifics uh, right in his answers and his policy points. The and the, but the bad news for the Democrats is He's virtually tied with them in some of the polls, as you as you mentioned earlier. And so uh, they they unleashed on him a couple of different times uh, for his for his uh, weak and, and lame answers. Um, and so it was not a good night for Garvey. So let me get this straight. Are you not a baseball fan? I grew up watching uh, Steve Garvey. <laughs> But I was a Pirates fan, so I was not a Steve Garvey fan as a baseball thing. He's a nice enough guy. I sat down with him the other day. He comes across as very calm and measured, but he doesn't have a lot of specifics. And he said, he told me, he said, well, I'll have some more specifics in, in April and June. And I was like, Steve, people are voting in March. They want to hear a few more specifics before then. But, uh, you know, this is the game he's going to play. If, and he could get into the top two because if he consolidates all the Republican votes behind him, he, and the Democrats divide their votes, it could be Garvey and one of the Democrats. It makes it very interesting. And, you know, Californians have so many issues to tackle, so you really want those candidates <laughs> to be ready and prepared to debate some of those topics. What do you think voters want to see most as far as change goes in our state? Is it homelessness? Is it gun laws? Uh, I think they definitely want to see, uh, polls say, uh, homelessness, housing affordability are the top issues, and crime are the top issues for Californians. Uh, there was some, uh, there was some the decent discussions on that last night, and uh, and the Democrats are generally uh, of the same uh, accord uh, on those issues. Uh, but uh, th there weren't, uh, you know, with thirty second answers, you're not going to get a lot of uh, substance uh, on on those issues. Joe, what is your biggest area of concern? My biggest area of concern is I like to see longer answers on a debate stage, but that's what I don't think we're going to see that. Uh, the one issue where they uh, that there was substantive difference between them is from the clip you played earlier on uh, policy in the Middle East. And senators do have a, a major say in that. And that's where we saw the, the field really have some uh, some cleavage there. And one, uh, Barbara Lee is uh, is uh, she wants a ceasefire uh, uh, Schiff and Garvey. Uh, do not want to cease fire. They would think Israel should have the right to protect itself. And Katie Porter's in the middle. She said she'd like to see a ceasefire, but only after certain conditions are met. Uh, so if, if the Middle East is your issue, and it, and it is for a growing number of uh, people in California, uh, that is an issue or that is an area where you'll see uh, stark differences between the candidates and not along party lines. Well, I think we can all agree, though, we definitely want to see a lot more longer answers, more yeah. interesting answers as we move forward, because, you know, voters are going to have to decide very, very soon. Joe, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Good to see you. Well, and he brings up a good point. It doesn't matter what your former profession was, if you were a minor league baseball player, professional league baseball player or what. When you're unprepared for mm -hmm. that moment, when you're in the spotlight and you're like, oh, I'll get to it. It's like, no, you need to get to it now. Right, right. And I think it's why it's important for voters to take the time to do your research, to do your homework, because you hear the name Steve Garvey. That comes with a little bit of the celebrity status. And we're in California. There's lots of celebrities and well-known baseball players and athletes here, as well as actors and actresses who run for political office. But do your research.